Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you how to make my favorite sweet potato casserole. So if you're ready, let's get started. Alrighty guys, so here I already have all of my ingredients. As always, they will be listed in the description box. So with that being said, let's begin cooking. Okay, so we're going to begin by roasting our potatoes. Here I have my three pounds of sweet potatoes. They're all nice and clean. We're going to place them on our baking sheet. Place them in an the oven and allow them to roast between one or two hours. Depending on how big your potatoes are, then it depends on how long they're going to take. Okay, so after one hour and a half, my potatoes are nice and soft. Of course, just make sure that you check them. So give it a few minutes and allow them to cool down before we begin to peel them out. Okay, so once ready, just remove the peel, transfer to a bowl, and I'm just going to smash them down. And we're just going to allow our potatoes to cool down completely before we add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, and once our sweet potatoes have cooled down completely, now we can finish up making our mixture. So to that, we're going to add our brown sugar, our half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter cup of heavy cream, a quarter cup of melted butter, and two eggs. And now we're going to whisk it all together until everything is well combined. Okay, and just like that, we have our sweet potato mixture. So now we're going to transfer it to our baking dish. Okay, so just make sure that you butter down your baking dish. Transfer the sweet potato mixture. Just make sure you put it all nice and even. We're going to set it to the side so we can make our pecan topping. Okay, for that, we're going to mix a quarter cup of brown sugar, all-purpose flour, and old-fashioned oats along with half a cup of crushed pecans, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and melted butter. So just mix it all together. Okay, and just like that, we're going to top our sweet potato casserole. So just sprinkle it all nice and even. Okay, so now we're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. And after 25 minutes, let me tell you that it smells delicious. So I'm just going to be topping it with some marshmallows. So just add a good layer. Okay, so now we're going to put it back in the oven and allow the marshmallows to melt. So give it about five to eight minutes. Ready? And once the marshmallows get nice and toasty, our sweet potato casserole is done. So just remove it from the oven and give it a few minutes and allow this to cool down a little bit. All right, guys, so after a few minutes, we can now get ready to serve. So just scoop your casserole. Just like that. All right, you guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now, let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super easy to make. The hardest part is just waiting, but of course, you know, you can always cook your sweet potatoes the day before or just ahead of time, just to have them ready on the day that you're making your sweet potato casserole. But let me tell you that this right here is seriously my favorite. You know, from the sweet potatoes to the marshmallows, everything is just so perfect. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. My favorite part, the crunch from the pecans. It's so good. It's not too sweet. It's enjoyable. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make my super easy and delicious sweet potato casserole. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.